This is giving me silence of the lambs feeling. Another dog wandering onto our property, so. <laughs> Connor went and picked him up today and we ended up with two. Great country girl, allergic to hay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I live on a farm, my dad's farm in Western Australia. Um, and we just recently moved back from Canada and in my last video, I had gotten two potty lambs that we had been given to give a new lease of life. Unfortunately, one passed away, um, which you'll see in the previous video. And I'm just in here now feeding the little potty lamb. He's a bit lonely, so today we're going to be picking up another lamb that someone's gifting us. Um, another ram that we're going to be eventually ringing his nuts and turning him into a weather. If you're new here, I'll probably show that in a future video. We're not getting our own sheep here until after summer when the grasses had a bit of a chance to grow through. Um, we've been having adjustment, adjusted sheep here and the paddocks are looking a bit bare. So we're just giving them a bit of a rest before we get our sheep. The catch is that we're getting Aussie whites, which are an Australian bred sheep. Um, they're great for our climate and area and they self shed which is fantastic. These potty lambs don't so it's got a bit of a pain having to shear them every year now but we've named this one and I'm sure we'll name the next one and that means we can't eat them so they're forever our pets. All right I have fed him. He's had a little feed. I need to unpack the car. I just went and bought a bunch of hay and um, chaff for this older lamb that's coming is uh, I think nine weeks old and he's ready to be eaten all that stuff by now so and he's apparently he's off the bottle we'll see he might want a bottle when he sees this one but we're gonna try and keep him off it so then it's less work for us if we can you're going well though aren't you bud if you're wondering why I'm wearing sneakers and never normally wear sneakers um, this foot's swollen up which is a little bit scary because why is my feet swelling up I keep looking up things like blood clots and stuff and it's freaking me out um, so yeah, my foot won't fit into my boots, which is a real pain. Hey little dude. It is true, they bond with you pretty quickly. Follows me everywhere, the little dude. Hey, I'll be back later. I ended up emptying this trough. In the last video, you would have seen it was all full, but because this one's not really tall enough to drink out of it, he's drinking out of that bucket, but this was going all gross. Like I said before, my uh, feet, my one foot swollen and my fingers have all got so much water retention. It's just insane. Um, I think I might have a, pa a trapped nerve in my back because I've had back issues, but I can't get into a physio until the middle of December. It's just insane. So just have to soldier on. And if I look awkward lifting hay, it's because I'm allergic to it. So I try not to touch it as much as possible. Great country girl. If you're new to feed bags, there is a piece of string here and everyone says it's so easy. You turn it a certain way and you just pull this string across and it opens the bag without ripping it. You don't have to cut it. I suck at it. I'm going to attempt it again for the hundredth millionth time. Remember, I used to have horses too. So every time I would try to attempt it, I'd just get annoyed and I'd end up cutting a big hole in it. The problem with that was every time you tip it into a feed bin or whatever, all the little strings from the bag would all fall in and then you're constantly pulling them out of the feed. Oh my God, you guys are my good luck charm. I got it first time. I don't know what's wrong with me, but most times I don't get it. But I think I'm gonna film every time I open up feed bag from now on. Good luck charms. So not sure if you guys can see what I've got in this bag, but it's called chaff. I never saw it in Canada. It might be called something else, but basically it's oat and hay cut into little bits, chopped up and um, yeah, it's great. I used to feed it to my horses. You can get oaten, wheaten, loosened, chaff. I'm gonna pop this old tub of screws on there just so then it stops some of the pesky mice getting in. We don't have a lot of mice out here, but they do come in once you've got feed in the shed. So just a little thing that we have to deal with in Australia. All right, I've got molasses here. Who else loves molasses? I'm not giving this to the sheep. I just bought it for when the potty lamb wasn't feeling too good, but I thought I could boost a bit of energy, but I used to put this on my horse's feet every now and then. 
I know you can't see me, but it is the yummiest thing ever. Like licorice, but in a uh, liquid form. I'm sure most of you guys know what molasses is. Then I'm gonna chuck some oats in here for the lambies. Not too many, because I don't know if this new one's used to it. You don't wanna get them onto a new feed too quick, because it can give them a bit of a tummy ache. Pretty much just like horses, very sensitive when they're young, the lambs. Great camera angles here, Beck. I don't even know if you guys can see me. Um, and then I've got a few pellets, therefore I can't even fit the little scoop in there. But um, they're just for calves and lambs. Give her a little bit of a mix. I'm already starting to get welt marks on my fingers from me being allergic to all this shit. Hey buddy. Oh! <laughs> hey buddy, what are you doing? You got the zoomies, bud. This morning I caught, well actually Connor caught, our dog Maggie and Boomerang the lamb chasing each other around here and the lamb was stirring her up and vice versa. Back in the shed to grab the uh, hay. This lamb will not be interested in the hay. Too young, but um, the other one's only eating hay at his other home, so chuck that in for him. Also forgot to mention, I got new sunnies. I'm no longer wearing Connors. In the last video, I broke my, my sunnies I'd had for three years. My $10 sunnies from Cotton On. And uh, I'll spread this out later. And um, yeah, picked up some Gigi sunnies. So these ones were a lot more expensive, but I'm hoping they'll last a long time. Just going out to let Maggie out of her dog crate, her kennel. But I looked out the window and saw a look like a blue healer. And another dog wandering onto our property. So <laughs> I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go and investigate. Yeah, I can see him, which isn't good because you're not desexed yet. And I think you're going into heat. Hey Maggie Moo. Hey buddy. Hey hey hey! That's, I saw a farmer drive past before so I'm guessing he's jumped off the back but he's wet come here well he's off just don't know whether or not he is from that farmer or not he's all wet so he's obviously jumped in there's a Really disgusting pond down here. He's got all green muck on him from the pond. Well, he's done his job of stirring Maggie up, that's for sure. I think he's from the property up there on that hill, maybe. He's just come down, but it's a little worrying because Maggie is six months old. We're not getting her de sex until she's. Um, or spayed until she's 18 months because we've just heard and been advised from the vet that that's a better age We're just gonna keep her away from <laughs> Boy dogs for a while. We may breed from her one day, but we'll just see how she is at working and There's enough dogs out there in the world and a lot of shitty owners. What I was saying is um, We may breed from her one day. We'll see how she is as a working dog But at the same time, there's a lot of shitty dog owners out there. Some are farmers, some aren't and I'd hate for her beautiful pups to go to a shitty home, so I don't know if we'll go down that route. Hey honey. This is Maggie's first time being around another dog other than my sister's dog, so normally she sits very quietly and then she has to wait for the lead to go on and then she can come out. We'll just see how it goes while I've got a camera in my hand. I normally can open this door without her jumping out. Sit. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Good girl. You ready? And normally I'd carry her somewhat down, but she's just getting at that age now where she doesn't want mama's help. The reason why I carry her down is just so I don't ruin her joints. Um, Connor's dog used to jump off the back of the ute all the time and he ended up hurting his back. So we're very careful with Maggie. 
So I feel like that was a bit of a sign. I've got to watch this little miss around that boy because there may be little puppies and I do not want that to happen. If anyone's wondering what we feed her, we feed her Taste of the Wild dog biscuits and get down, down and uh, meet every morning. All right, guys, it's the next day and I did go to pick up the little lamb that we we're going to get but the lady had to cancel last minute so Connor went and picked him up today and we ended up with two because Connor is a big sook like me tells me we're not allowed any more animals and then he comes home with two instead of one hey Maggie so we've picked up these boys um, they're going to be some more little grass lawn mowers I should say this little boy's got pink eye now I'm guessing he caught it from the one that sadly passed away and um we're hoping these two don't get it, although the lady did say that she noticed a little bit of pink eye in one of them. So we got Teramycin there. It does happen with the dust this time of year out here. But um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated how they go overnight. But this guy is a lot less stressed now. He's got a bu two buddies. Two buddies now, not just one. Good boy. I will also mention that these two boys were free. A local farmer said that she... Uh, was looking to move them on. I think a ram got into there. I didn't really get the full story because Connor went there to pick them up. But I think a ram got into her paddock and these were the results and she didn't want that breed. So I think they're a merino cross with a dorper. I'll just pop that there. I just noticed as I was leaving that the um, trough's leaking. Maggie, quiet. I've been doing a little bit of training with Maggie and she's going well. Just learning the commands back around all that sort of stuff um yeah it's dripping under here which is a pain oh I'm covering it with my hand which is a pain because I feel like I'm gonna accidentally open it and it's all gonna come flying out because it's literally not on the thread right oh shit I think I've stopped it. That's just the residue there, but oh, I don't know. The seal should still be in the plug. I'll come back later and, and check it. No, it's still dripping. I'm using my phone at the moment, so I'm hoping that, that you guys don't get covered because it means my phone's going to get covered. But let's see if we can fix it. Oh shit, I've made it worse now. The reason why this is a pain is if I want to drain this out to fix that plug, I've got to get the firefighter unit over to fill it up with water because we're not um, hooked up on water up here. I need to run a pipe under the ground from over here, um, over there somewhere, to uh, set it all up. So frustrating. Alright, I'll come out later on guys and these two are not on the bottle, this one is. These two are just eating hay down here, straws over there for bedding. And um, I'll come out and feed him later on tonight before I go to bed. Muscle man's here, he's gonna try and help me. He just came over as I was ending that little part of the video. He's got his pins out, Hi. his boots on. Hey! Good Having a good day? Yeah. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain? Tomorrow it's actually meant to rain, but it never happens. Hopefully it does though. What's down there? I'll oh, pick up the bottle for me. Hi! Hi! Oh, Mom, I found Be careful of the ants there, buddy. There's big meat ants up there. Connor's got his big hands down there uh, <laughs> blocking it. I've only got tiny little hands. There's no way I'd be able to block that. Connor, I was telling them all that I really want to get a GoPro with the selfie screen yeah hint hint for christmas oh okay sure because <laughs> i don't want to use my good camera that's like a photography videography camera i really want a full snap on the walkie kit i'm really so glad you didn't say strap on then snap on <laughs> and milwaukee doesn't particularly have to be snap on but you know anywhere around at least five or six thousand dollars worth of tools would be nice okay well if we're gonna go that big of a 
present. I want a horse as well. That's what the GoPro costs, isn't it? No, it does not. A couple of hundred bucks. <laughs> Did you get it fixed? Is it leaking? Yeah. It's a, a broken trough anyway. Dad had people renting here years and years and years ago. And all they had horses here anyway. Was it horses? They had animals oh, here in this, this paddock thing. and one of them, we didn't realize until I went to use it, has uh, put a big hole in the side here. So it's not focusing. So it leaks down that end if it's too full. We need to buy a new one. Forever repairing stuff, aren't we? All right, I was just about to go to bed. I was just having a cup of tea and um, we realized that the winds picked up a lot and looked outside and there is lightning in the distance and a huge amount of rain coming in the next hour, which was not on the forecast. Tomorrow afternoon was supposed to be rain, not tonight. So Connor's driving over to the big shed on the farm. Um, I'm only filming this on my phone because I don't have enough time to go get my good camera out. Um, and he's going over to the big shed to look for something for shelter for the lambs. They've obviously got the trees, um, and they've got that shade cloth over, but nothing to protect them properly. And yes, I know sheep live in the, on the farm and survive normally, but they're little lambies and well, we're big silks. So I'm going to go and sort that out now and hopefully we'll get it done and don't get too rained on in the next hour. Oh, ignore the outfit. I just uh, chucked on a flannel I had in the corner of my room and um, coming out here quickly to put things away and all this washing up here and pack away everything before the storm gets too bad. Put put the cars away and in case trees fall down on them. And It's nice though. It's a nice change in weather because we've been so hot, like 37, 38, close to 40s, and then it's really cooled down. So... I am welcoming it, just didn't expect it so quickly in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, not middle of the night, I'm getting old, aren't I, saying 10 o'clock in the middle of the night. All right, popped all the washing away very quickly. There's Oreo. Now to put away everything, like, you know, extension cords just hanging over the edge there. It's not plugged in, it's just sitting there. But, um, oh God, I'm dismounting this terribly because I'm holding the camera. But, uh, yeah, put everything away. All my seeds up there. Just push them back so the storm doesn't get them. Oreo, move out the way, darling. You can't come out right now. <laughs> Oreo, out. Good girl. Go back. Can I bring this in? Go back. Good girl. All right, Connor's going to go over to the uh, big shed and I'm going to remo move my car back because of that big tree up there. Oh, Connor, shine your torch up to the tree so they can see what I'm talking about. I'm just worried that that limb's going to fall down and land on the tree, uh, on the car, so. You're getting everything in this video, aren't you? You're getting me in my pyjamas. Two different types of pyjamas. I'm thankful for this reverse camera. Um, chance that the tree is going to fall down is pretty slim but it's when you don't move it it will actually happen wouldn't it so I'm gonna do that Connor's gonna go over to the shed to figure out something that we can put in with the lambs I know we don't sound very organized but like I said normally it's very predictable out here with the weather but it seems to have come in like 12 hours earlier than we expected so or probably earlier than that actually 18 hours All right, Connor's got the high beams on for me because I can't see anything. <laughs> it's so pitch black out here. But uh, there's some killer lightning going on, but I don't know whether I'll be able to get it on camera because my phone's about to die. Oh, I know you're all excited, aren't you? Wondering what we're doing. Normally you're a bit in bed by now, aren't you? Hey, throw our shoes down here. Look how cute Tilly is. Sorry, I'm blinding you. Um, we've decided we're going to chuck them in the side of the shed where we normally store the ha uh, the wood because Connor went over to the um, shed and we couldn't find 
anywhere or anything to help them for the night and well we don't want them to oh my battery's gonna die now <laughs> camera died i'm using connor's iphone now so pick up these little munchkins it's gonna be fun to get <laughs> I'll leave you to the last yeah I'll take the little one we'll just watch you <laughs> for the first one you grab the door the gate someone's security yes the kids did not lock this properly This is giving me Silence of the Lambs feeling. You grab her for me, I don't have as long arms as you to get her over. Him, Him over, sorry. Call them all hers. There you go guys, we'll go bring your water over and your food. Put my trendy farm shoes on. Oh, the wind's blowing some crap in there. Okay, I was gonna turn the camera off, but I can't see because I don't have a torch and Connor is too far. So I'm just gonna keep recording with the flash. Oh, I just spilled half that. Happy lammies. And the littlest one, Boomerang's already had a bottle tonight, so I'll lay in here tonight and sleep. It's the next morning. The lambs survived the night in their shelter over there. We've put, popped them back over in the yard this morning about 7am, but it's just started raining, hasn't it? Yeah. Thundering. It's so pretty. I love the smell of rain. Do you, Tilly? Yeah. Yeah? When it finishes, it's easier to smell. Yeah, it's beautiful. Shut the door, buddy. <laughs> Tilly's been out here dancing in the rain, haven't you? Uh, Probably need to come in now. The thunder's pretty bad. Can I show you the big puddle. Yeah, I'll do it, darling. Where's the puddle? <laughs> oh my goodness! We need to help some of those gutters, there. hey? Getting over full. Dad's up there trying to jump in the car and strap all the wood down because he's been cutting firewood up there. It's a beautiful storm though. I've been really wanting one of these. I haven't had a good storm since Canada. You alright buddy? Shut this gate. Come here. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're all wet. Right, I'll pick you up. <laughs> alright little one, I'll pick you up. Love the sound of rain on the old tin roof. So beautiful. It's really, really needed. Now I need to get changed out of this shirt because I stink like wet sheep. Oh, I tried to my flannel in for another flannel. Flannel is this sort of a shirt in Australia. Um, I'm currently working on this lighting's terrible. Currently working on my website, the one I had in Canada. Let's swap to this side. Maggie, stop interrupting. So I'm currently spending today sitting by the computer here, coding for websites, or my website, the one I had in Canada for Out West Rancher, which is now outwestcountry.com.au. By the time this video comes out, um, it will be live. It has digital products that I was selling on Etsy but now I've been banned from Etsy because they think that I'm fraudulent because I moved my shop from Canada to Australia and I've disputed it 50,000 times and they keep telling me that I'm some fraud person. So I've now had to put 350 Etsy listings onto 
my Out West Country website. So over there you'll find digital products if you want them for Instagram highlight reels, prints for your house, like country prints. So basically you download them and then you print them yourself at your local print store. Um, that's why the prices are so low because it's literally just the digital product that you download onto your computer. Um, and there's a bunch of other things there. I will eventually be selling my photo prints. I've got this really cool ice one from Canada that I've just finished editing. I've got it all up and running, but I want to have a few good quality photos up on the website ready for you guys to purchase before just putting one or two up. So at the moment it says coming soon, but that will be available. And then of course we have our Western wear section, which is our Out West coasters, our genuine leather coasters. We have our beautiful blanket rugs. We have earrings, jewelry, barware, all sorts of stuff. So there's not a huge amount on there, but it's if you guys want to support us and instead of hitting that thanks button, which we do appreciate as well, um, there's a thanks button below where you can donate. You do not have to, but if you would, would like to support us and you don't want to hit the thanks button and you, and you want to get something in return, you can head on over to our website and purchase from there. Anyway, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna sit here, do this, and of course, later on, I'll have to get the lambs back out and do the chooks and all that stuff, but you guys have seen so much lamb footage in this video, it's ridiculous. Tomorrow, I plan on going out and finally seeding those seeds that I planted a couple of weeks ago on a video, so stay tuned for that. Guys, a couple of days have passed and um, I'm just heading outside now. It's bloody hot, 36, I think it is. And it's about oh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Just picked up Tilly from school, and I'm finally going to go out and plant these seeds the little seedlings that I planted. Um, or well, I planted the seeds, they finally germinated, and um, not all of them though. I'll explain that in a sec. I'm going to go and plant them in our veggie garden. Okay, so we've had some casualties. These broccoli and cucumber were going really well, like they grew immediately, but then we had a few really hot days and then a few frosts in the morning and, well, they're cactus now. Um, I have some sunflowers growing here. Some of these flowers are growing slowly and I know that they look really dry, but I have been watering them morning and sometimes night as well. We've got some dill here. I'm gonna take all these off now because I'm gonna start planting them. Got some carrots, tomatoes, some more carrots, basil, which I'll pop that there so I remember. Pak choy was growing, but then when it got hot, it died. Capsicum and the sage, I'm pretty sure died. It was growing. Yeah, it's it's not growing. So I'm gonna cheat and probably end up buying some seedlings that are from the nursery. You guys hear those birds? There's a storm coming through. I don't know if you can tell. We had a huge storm over the weekend, as you guys know, with us trying to sort out the lambs shelter and um, that's something else I'll update you guys on because Connor's built them one now. So yeah, I'm going to go to the nursery this week probably and buy some more seedlings that are already germinated um, and I'm going to plant these now. As you guys can see, this garden bed is way better looking. It's um, not as dry. The soil quality is a lot better. It had a lot of... Oh, there's Oreo, our kitten. She's finally allowed out now. Hey, honey. We only let her out for about half an hour, an hour a day, just because we're worried about the snakes. But we don't want to be cruel and keep her in either because she does like going out. Also, anyone interested, she is desexed. There's going to be no kittens. She's from a rescue and they come desexed. Anyway, um, this one's really dry. This one's really dry. That one's not too bad. Um, I do have wormwee, which I was given from a friend that I'm going to mix up and spray in here. And I'm going to add some potting mix to these as well but like I said I'm pretty new to the whole gardening thing it's not my forte but I'm gonna give it a crack this time next year I'll be pretty good at it I'm hoping just thrown the uh, sprinklers on the trampoline for the kids oh autofocus isn't working um, I have added some potting mix at the back here I know I'm meant to mix it all in but it just looks prettier this way to be absolutely honest Gardening's not the top of my priority at the moment. I do have a bit of an announcement. Um, finally got my website up and running. Um, go and check it out. Has my 
physical products like our blankets and everything on there including caps trucker caps if you're interested in trucker caps and uh, genuine leather coasters and stuff I also have my physical products on there it's all live ready to go we are uh, shipped to loads of different countries and of course Australia so I've got some worm way here <laughs> I've mixed it up 1 to 10 ratio with water uh, and I'm gonna go pop it in a watering can and spread it over everything so hopefully it grows some nice veggies and gets the soil prepped pretty good don't know what I'm talking about but sounds good to me <laughs> all right I'm all done I've put carrots in here as well as dill. I've put nothing in here yet. That one's, oh, part of my camera strap's showing in, in the frame. Sorry, guys. Um, capsicum and basil in here and tomatoes. And then nothing in here other than the rosemary. I have no idea what that is. It's some sort of a, pl a flower. All the snow peas have died. So they, this one, the far back one, and then we created another one out here will be used this week I um, have to go to town to the nursery and so I mentioned to dad I needed another um, garden bed and he sprayed up this IBC up and um, dumped in some more soil from over in the back paddock but I need to put some good nutrients into here and then eventually we're going to put um, potatoes in here All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you really enjoyed my video. If you do, I would really appreciate it if you share it. Since, um, yeah, starting my YouTube channel up again in Australia and changing my YouTube name from Beck and Connor to Beck Out West, my views have dropped dramatically. I mean, I used to get thousands of views. Now I get hundreds, not even hundreds, like 200 views. It's really crappy <laughs> especially when I put so much effort into it and I really enjoy making these videos so if you wouldn't mind watching them sharing them and uh yeah make sure you comment below because that sort of brings up the algorithm and um YouTube shares it a little bit more and go check out my new website that I've rebuilt again in Australia bye guys